Hey everybody, today I'm gonna to teach you some fancy pants zoom editing stuff in After Effects on Welcome again everybody, I'm your host, Justice Goble, the one-eyed man. Today we're going to talk about the hyper zoom effect. Uh, it's also called the Baker zoom, the, the Baker's effect, the Sam Kohler zoom, uh, whatever you want to call it, that's what we're going to go over today. So let's go ahead and jump on in. So now that I'm here in After Effects, I've got all three of the clips already in a row, right? Um, and all I'm going to, do, going to do is I'm going to show you how to zoom in from this clip to this clip and then swipe from this clip to this clip. Uh, it's pretty simple. And the first thing we're going to do is start right here and pull up, if you click S on the keyboard, you'll see scale on that and then do the same thing with that while highlighting it. You'll see scale and then create a keyframe right here, right where the, the two merge. And then I'm going to um, drag this top keyframe back four frames. Whoops, one, two, three, four. You can play with that and change it up, but for the sake of it, I'm going to do that. And what I'm going to do, since I'm zooming in on this top clip, I'm going to type 200 into the scale and put it right there. So it's a quick zoom in. And then on this bottom one, since I'm zooming in, I'm going to drag this one, two, three, four as well. And I'm going to start from 50. So this is what it looks like. As you see, it's definitely not finished. And so we're going to, it looks a little weird, especially without those borders. So we're going to go up here to effects and presets. And if you type in CC reptile, you see I already pulled it up, but reptile, um, and you drag and drop onto this one. And then over here, you're going to expand that each direction um, until it fills the screen. Once you have all those, you need to change tiling to unfold. And that will give you kind of a blurry, kind of a mirror look. And you'll see what that looks like now. It looks much better already just from that. The next thing you want to do is go over here to the, the motion blur button and then click and drag down all three. So you'll have that motion blur. And you'll see what that does. It just kind of enables it so it looks like it's got the blur right there and it looks more like a, an actual zoom. The last thing we'll do right here, we'll right click on this and then we'll go into keyframe assistant and go to easy ease out. And then do the same thing right here and do easy ease in. And that's just gonna kind of give us just a slight um, ease into that. So that helps with that. Uh, for those of you who wanted just the zoom, uh, there you go, that's pretty much all you need to do and you've got a nice zoom and you can play with that and stuff. But if you're like me, um, you're gonna need to do a little bit of extra work in order to make this look better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this to the next step. As you can see, I'm zooming in right now into the tire and then suddenly I'm at the hood. Doesn't really make sense. And so I'm gonna click P on both of these and click open up position. Um, and I'm going to drag these both four, four in, right? And then what I'm going to do um, so that I can see just for the time being I'm going to drag that just one frame in. I'll change that back later, but then I'll sh I'll sh put it to where I need it to be, basically a little bit less, because this one's going to. Then I'll drag that back. This one's going to pick up a second. I'll drag it this way. So if you watch, and that's where I'll need the rep, the repeat tile or the rep tile, however you say that, um, on both of those, so that I don't get any of that. And I'll make sure that these are all lined up. Just like that. And then I'll do the same thing with the keyframes. So that it matches. And you see much better now. It looks like I'm actually zooming into the hood. So much better effect. Now, for those of you who wanted to learn how to do the zoom wipe, it's pretty much the same thing. Um, instead of zoom though, all we're gonna do is focus on the position. So we'll, we'll add a keyframe here on position, drag it over four, and then we'll add, do the same thing right here with position, drag it over four, one, two, three, four, close enough. And then since I'm going around the car, I'm gonna to go to the right. It'd make more sense because this is the rear driver's side. So I'm going to swipe to the right by dragging this left. And I'll do that to where this is zero. Then this one, I'm gonna start at 1280. And you'll see that right there, it's missing a little something. It's because I don't have this. So I'll go ahead and copy this over, paste it in, and you'll see a much better flow. Now you can always go in, um, make sure you want to add those easy, in, easy eases, 
in and out on that. And that will help with the the quick thing. And you can also drag and play around and do whatever you want. If you want it slower, then you can do that too. Thanks again for everyone tuning in and watching the tutorial. I hope that that was helpful to you in learning how to do that zoom effect. Um, if you have anything that you want to learn, go ahead and comment that below so that we know and we can create a tutorial specifically for what you asked for. For everyone else out there, hit that subscribe button, share this with your friends, or follow us on social media. Once again, I'm Justice Goble, and I'll see you next week.